Hi, this is a video tutorial on how to create a survey using Google Forms, how to add questions and how to share your Google Form with friends and family. The first thing you need to do is open up your Google Drive and if you've got the old version, you'll have a red button here that says create and if you've updated to the newer version, this button will say add. So you click on that button and choose form for Google Forms. Then you need to give your form a name. You can either click down here. Uh, oh, what is our form going to be called? Um, mobile phone usage. And then we're going to add a couple of questions and see how that changes the name of the form at the top there automatically as well. So the first question that we're going to have is, are you male or female? And the type of question that we'd like that to be is going to be multiple choice because we only want them to select either male or female. We would like this to be a required question so that every person answering this, this survey has to answer that question. And then we'll click done. Yeah. To insert another question, you can either select this drop down arrow here next to add item or you can go up to insert. So I think down here is probably the easiest way. The next question that we're going to add is a question on um, what age bracket the people we're surveying are in. So maybe choose from a list would be a good option for this type of question. So what is your age bracket? What is your age, maybe? Yes, that what sounds good, age? Winningham. <laughs> and the first age bracket may be five to nine. The next age bracket could be, say, 10 to 15. And we've got 16 to 21, 22 to 30, 31 to 40, and maybe 40 plus. Now, having um, the style of question is choose from a list, you see, we're going to make that a required question as well. So choose from a, quiz, a list and you can see that little drop down arrow there. Um, if we click on view live form, it will show you what your form looks like. So you see how they're choosing from a list from what, what age bracket that person is in. So we can just toggle back to the, um, the creation of the Google form. So our next question we're going to have is, are you on a, we'll have a multiple choice question. Are you on a postpaid or prepaid plan? Now the reason why we're making this a multiple choice question is because I've, we have some other questions we would like to ask, but they differ depending on if they're on a postpaid or a prepaid plan. So, this is going to be a required question as well. We're going to click on go to page based on answer. And if it's postpaid page, then they'll need to go to a page called post page, which we haven't created yet. So we'll just click done here for now. We'll insert some page breaks and then we'll go back and fix up that question. So the first page here we'll call post page. And we'll create another page break there, and this can be prepaid. So you can see that's page three of three, page two of three. So back here in our question, we can click on that to edit it. And here, postpaid, if someone selects that they're on a postpaid plan, we're going to make them then go to the page which has the postpaid questions on it. And likewise, prepaid people will go to the page that has the prepaid questions on it. So we'll click done. There. Now on our questions, now the people who are on a postpaid plan, we're going to add a question for them. And that question is going to be maybe a text box. Do you guys think a text box will be good for in the last three months? How much have you spent in total on prepaid cards? Yeah, because yes. it's going to be a free response. And so everyone will have different a variety of answers. Yeah. So in the last three months, 
how much have you spent in total, approximately? Mm -hmm. Approximately on prepaid cards. Do you want to just put in total there as well? In total. Approximately yes. in total on prepaid cards. And you can see that's the text response there. We'll make everyone answer that question. Oh, this was supposed to be postpaid. Oh, we've put the question in the wrong bit. I wonder if we can move it. Um, oh, yes, we can. That was handy. So what's the question that we need to add in the postpaid? Um, what is the total? Oh, yeah, there oh, it is. That's another text type of question. What is the total of each of your last three monthly bills? That'll be a reply question. Um, now we have a couple of questions for everyone. Uh, what's the next one we want to add? Do we want to know the flag form for both prepaid and post? Yeah, why don't we put it in, but we'll make it not look not a required question. So if they don't know it, they can skip it. Okay. Do you think? Like just for this example. Hmm. So how much is the flag for? Your plan. Um, yep, that'll be a text. What will we have in here? Duplicate. Oh, that's handy. We'll duplicate that question and we'll move it down to the prepaid section. But maybe we'll change the order around. There we go. Because we'd like to ask the prepaid people as well what the flag call on their calls are. Um, now a question for everyone. What is a strategy? Oh no, how do you use your phone predominantly for voice calls, SMS, MMS or data? So what type of a question do we want this one to be? We want them to choose from a list, maybe? Or to select which one they predominantly use? Yes, so they have to choose either A, B or C. Yeah. Hmm. So the question is, do you use your phone predominantly for voice calls, SMS, like messages, or data. So, just like the other question we had that was choose from a list, list our options or responses here. <laughs> Let's see if we'll make that a required question. And we'll choose done and you can see there, if we go back to the live form, oh this is going through to, um, oh because that was a question on the second page we actually have to actually answer these questions before we can proceed. What was that one on? Prepaid or postpaid? How do you use postpaid? Sure, that question is there. There it is. And you can see that's a drop down list question. Okay, so back to our Google form. That's the question that we just created. It'd be good to know what people on a prepaid plan, how they predominantly use their phone as well. So let's duplicate that question and we'll move that down to this one here. Let's shuffle around the order of the questions. And this is all saving automatically, just like when you put something in a Google Doc or a Google spreadsheet. Um, let's see, have we got any more questions to add in? Maybe what is the total data you used over the last three monthly bills? And the last question as well. Okay, so what is the total data you used? What type of a question should that be? Maybe a text? response. What is the total data you used over the last three monthly bills? Yeah, maybe we could a range, have a zero to one gig, one gig to two gig. So choose from a list from again. A list. And so 
scan to one gigabyte. That's pretty big though, maybe 500 megabyte, meg, megabyte, capital M, capital M, little B, little B, or the capital B, capital B, okay, second option will be 500, oops, megabytes, to one gig, one gig, yeah, and then maybe one gig to two gig, oh, over, two gig plus, yes. Required question? Do we want people to answer that? Yes. Yeah, it would be really good to know how good much know. we use. So we'll duplicate that question as well because there it is and then we'll move it. Oh yeah, oh, it's at the top. And we've got one last question to add in about the suitability of your mobile phone plan to your usage. So we're going to ask, do you think your mobile phone plan you are currently on is the best plan? It's given to you. And we would like you to not just answer yes or no, but justify your response. So I think possibly paragraph text allows a little bit more text than the normal text. So we'll just choose um, paragraph text, as you can see, maybe a longer answer. And that will be a required question. And I'm going to duplicate that one as well and move that to the, um, the prepaid It. So that's all our questions of how to add in questions. So at the moment we're in the Google form view. Um, I showed you the view, the view the live form, which was um, this form, this view here. And when you um, get your responses back, then you'll have another, um, we'll have a spreadsheet that comes up automatically. Now the last thing that this tutorial is on is how to share your form with um, friends and family for them to answer your survey questions. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. On the top right, this blue button here, send form, you can click on that. You can type in the name of um, people you would like to share the form with. You can customise the message. Hi, please complete this survey for my assignment. Send that way, that'll send the form to your friends and family and when they open up their email that form will be in there and it'll look similar to this view. Another way is you can click on send form, this link here you can copy, command C, open up a new email and paste that command C into an email and type in a little message there and type in who you'd like to send it to and the, and the subject there. Alternatively, another method is if you click on view live form, which I did before, you'll get a link at the top here. You can copy that link and paste that in an email as well. Um, you could also copy that link and in the marking rubric for this assignment, there is um, a little section here that says create a survey in Google Forms and link it here. So I've just command C on that live form link and I'm going to highlight here because that's where I'm going to link it to. I'm going to click on the link and command Z to paste my link to that Google form there. And that's how your teacher will know I have access to your Google form to be able to mark it for this section of the assignment. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? Well done. I hope this has been well an informative tutorial. Thank you.